So we are now in a point of time where I've waited a long time for. The Microsoft Unified Security Operations Platform is now publicly available. Even though it is still in preview, you can now use Microsoft Sentinel from within the Defender portal. And this actually brings a lot of new capabilities as we can now hunt and detect cyber attacks in a unified manner. Let's run the intro. Hello world and welcome to a brand new Azure vlog. I hope you're doing well, I'm doing fine. So the Microsoft Security Operations Platform just went into public preview. So I thought it's time to show you how you can onboard your Microsoft Sentinel workspace into this new unified platform. After I've shown you how you can onboard your workspace, I will give you a quick tour of everything that is changed so you can get started quickly. In case you are not aware of what the Microsoft Security Operations Platform is, please see my video somewhere here. A couple of weeks ago I recorded a video about the Microsoft Unified Security Operations Platform and why it is such a big game changer. For now let's switch over to my desktop and I'll show you how you can onboard your workspace. All right, so here we are in the Microsoft Defender portal, security.microsoft.com. I'm actually at the homepage of the portal. As you can see, in the middle of my screen is quite a big banner. Connect your SIEM and XDR in one place. This is the place where we can connect Microsoft Sentinel to Microsoft Defender XDR. I can click on this button over here. I can check my workspace, hit next. So it gives me a quick summary of what it's going to do. I can click on connect and it will now connect my workspace. Oh, it's already done. That was quite fast. I think it's important for you to note that this is not just a visual upgrade. It's not just the UI of Microsoft Sentinel that has moved over to the Defender portal. You can configure Microsoft Sentinel from within the Defender portal, but much more actually happened. You are now using the unified alert queue, the unified incident queue, which means that all the Defender XDR incidents and Sentinel incidents are now processed through the same queue, which is amazing that we have a single endpoint and a single queue where we can view all the incidents that are happening in our environment. We switch back to my desktop, we can close this window and as you see over here I have a menu item called Microsoft Sentinel. If I click on this, I go to my analytic rules, you'll see all the analytic rules that were also available in the Azure view of my Sentinel workspace. I can now manage my analytic rules from within the Defender portal. I can create new ones over here, the scheduled rules and the near real-time query rules also here. I can update or edit my um, queries, my analytic rules, just as I was able to do in, uh, in Microsoft Sentinel. I have my watch lists over here. I have my automation over here, of course my data connectors, I have content management over here, even my connection to GitHub got migrated to the uh, unified operations uh, platform. We have the content hub still available as before. We have the workbooks, hunting, notebook features, all the things that you're known of in the Azure world of Microsoft Sentinel are available in the Defender portal. So what I've showed you so far is actually the management pages of Microsoft Sentinel 
in the Defender Portal. I think this alone is already awesome. It will save me a lot of time in portal switching between Defender and Microsoft Sentinel. Let's also have a look now at what we can do with Advanced Hunting and the Unified Incident Queue. But first, there is no Azure Vlog without coffee. Let's grab a good cup of coffee. That was a very good cup of coffee. So let's switch over to my desktop and I'll show you advanced hunting. So here we are again in the Microsoft Defender portal. And if we go to investigation and response over here, we have a thing called hunting. And this is actually really awesome. This is not a new window. It was already in the Defender portal and allowed us to query actually all the Defender related tables. As we have now connected our Sentinel workspace, we have log management over here and we have the Microsoft Sentinel tables over here. We can hunt on queries or using queries I must say that combine data from Sentinel and the Defender world. I think that is amazing. So here I have a device info table. I can query that. It will give me results. And one thing that you might notice over here is that I have two columns with actually the same data in it. Time generated and timestamped. This is one of the great features where Microsoft did unified uh, the data. So in Sentinel, we had the time generated column, and in the Defender world, we had the timestamp column. So now all the tables that use a timestamp or a time generated column actually have both these columns which is really nice. We now have a unified way of working with dates. I can also open one of my Sentinel tables. So let's have a look for one of the tables, which I know is data in. Um, I have a watch list, so let's open that. Let's run the query. And as you can see, I have my watch list data in here. If I want, I can correlate my watch list data with data of the Defender world. And that brings a whole lot of new use cases and new detections that we can create. I think that is awesome. This brings a lot of new opportunities in defending the world against attackers. What I also would like to show you over here is the incident queue. What you're looking at right now, if it's loading, if it's finished loading, is the unified incident queue. 
this is the place where you will find all your sentinel incidents, but also the defender incidents. If I remove my filters over here, you'll see that my sentinel incidents are also in here. This is one of the incidents that got triggered uh, through uh, Microsoft Sentinel. I think this is really awesome that we have one place where we can manage all our alerts. Another great thing about this unified incident queue is that the alert correlation um, also works with our Sentinel uh, incidents. So if an incident occurred, let's say, through Defender for Endpoint, and we later have on the same device an incident that is generated through Microsoft Sentinel, the unified alert queue is capable of grouping those alerts together in a single alert. For example, a multi-stage uh, attack detection alert. I think that is really, really awesome. So I bet you will love this new world. You will love the new unified way of working with your data, with your incidents, with a single portal to manage all your security. I think you will love that. If not, there is also the possibility to off-port your Microsoft Sentinel workspace. And let me show you how you can do that. So here we are again at my desktop. If we go all the way down to system over here, there's a menu item called settings. I can click on that, go to Microsoft Sentinel, select my workspace and hit disconnect workspace over here. This will disconnect my workspace. It will make sure that my workspace operate as a Microsoft Sentinel workspace just as before. If I now go to my home page, you'll see that I am able to connect my workspace again and still my Sentinel workspace in Microsoft Azure is available and ready for you to use. First of all, I hope you don't need this. You will like the uh, uh, new Defender world, but if not, there is an opportunity for you to offboard your workspace. So in this video I showed you how you can onboard and offboard your Microsoft Sentinel workspace into the uh, unified security operations platform or the defender portal I would say. It is actually quite easy, it's just a couple of clicks, no hard technical stuff uh, needed over there. The only thing I didn't mention were the permissions, you need to be I think security administrator and uh, contributor on the Microsoft Sentinel workspace. If you got those permissions, you're ready to go. Um, I also gave you a quick tour of the things that you can configure in Microsoft Sentinel uh, using the Defender portal. And of course, we went through the unified incident queue and advanced hunting. I think the, the, the real magic is in the, in the last two, the advanced hunting and the unified incident queue. Um, and I'm actually planning to do a lot of videos about this uh, new Sentinel Defender world, so to say. So I hope you like this video. If so, hit the thumbs up button. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Then you will get a notification when I have uploaded a new video. And of course, I'll hope to see you in my next video. Bye.